Everybody's on Oh So Smooth Radio. Make sure you keep that going, Panda Man. I want to be your lover. Hey, hey, come on. Pump that up, Candy Man. We got to let them check in. What's up, Corey Dominican? Old friend of mine right there. What's up? What's up, Facebook? Good morning. Good morning. I'm going to give y'all time to check in. Go ahead and share this live. Rest in peace to the purple guy himself. Hey, 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 hey. I got to do one of these because your girl has had one hell of a week. Hey, hey, hey. 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 What's up, Eric? What's going on, baby? What's up, Kasimbe? I see you, baby. Hey. I ain't gonna pressure you, baby. I see my family checking in. What's up, Betty? What's up, Yoki? I wanna be your lover. Your girl has had a week. And this may not be appropriate for some, but I am very happy right now. Because guess what? They just told me that my grandbaby is on the way home. Ow! Whoop! Hey! 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 I am so ecstatic. Yeah! We're gonna give people an opportunity to log in. What's up, Nicole, baby? Hey! We get ready to chop it up real quick. Hey! Hey! Sip, sip, hey! Sip, sip, hey, sip, sip, hey, sip, sip, hey, 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 hey. I ain't been able to do this right here all week. Whew. Thank you, Candyman. Whew. Now I got to take a sip because I'm just straight up out of breath. In the chill. Ain't that amazing when you just get tired in the chill? Mm. But I do want to say, before we get this started, thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for the text messages. Thank you for the inboxes. Thank you, for, thank you, 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 thank you so much. It was heartfelt. It was much appreciated. I'm sorry that I flooded you guys' uh, timelines. I, I couldn't help it. I, I had to reach out to my tea sippers. <laughs> I had to reach out to my tea sippers. I mean, I, I just, I was, I was lost. But God is able. Thank you so much, Nicole. But we're ready to get this thing started. Uh, Cause Sunday, you ready, baby? Uh-oh, I just flipped my camera around. I don't want y'all to see that. Hold on. I'm hitting the wrong stuff. You ready? Because someday, let's get this thing started. Uh, yeah, I mean, so guys, thank you so much. It was um, it was hard. And, it, you know, sometimes you're tested, man. You know what I mean? It's, you know, it's like, whew, wait a minute, God, what you doing? What you doing? Don't be messing with us. We, we good folks. But he's good. So we're ready to get this thing started. We have the Heritage Ball coming up. Hey. First of all, we got the Heritage Ball coming up. I call it now. GDI didn't say this. This comes out of my mouth. The biggest gathering event of the year is coming up February 21st through the 24th. And I have the pleasure of speaking to Kasimde. Kasimde, can you hear me? I can hear you, but my Bluetooth is not connected. All right, say it again. I can hear you, but for whatever reasons, my Bluetooth is not connecting. It just disconnected. Uh -oh. So I don't know why. Let's be able to hear you, guys. Give me some thumbs up if you can hear Kasim Day. Give me thumbs up if you're able to hear Kasim Day. They should be able to hear you on the radio loud and clear. Uh, let's make sure my volume is turned all the way up. And let me make sure we're on all cylinders. They can hear you. So they can hear you loud and clear. So can you hear me? They hear me? Yeah. I hear you. You know, right. you know I'm techn technologically challenged. <laughs> Lord have mercy. But so far, so good. So we should be good on our end. So everything is good. So I'm getting a little bit of feedback. Just a little glare over here. So we have Corey. We got to get you stepping, Corey. So guys, go ahead and share this live. 
before we even get started, because we want to make sure we get a lot of this information out. Like I explained last week, we did have Cora on, and Cora hit a, a lot of amazing points relative to the Heritage Ball. So if you guys did not see that video, go back and look at that uh, that we talked about uh, that's going to be going on with the Heritage Ball. Someone, Patricia Miller, said this is her first time experiencing the Heritage Ball. So hopefully, Patricia, you have found these lives to be very informative to you. So we do have Kasimde. Kasimde, tell them what your position is with the GDI brand. Let them know who you are relative to that organization. Well, I am the vice president, uh, chief operating officer of Good Deeds International. Okay. Make sure your volume is turned all the way up on your phone. Because I can barely hear you. I'm sure they probably can hear you, but you can barely hear me. I can barely. I'm wondering why my Bluetooth they... is not connected. Okay, so just okay, that's fine. So as long as they can hear you, I'll 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 do like this. So it's good. All right. So he is the vice president of GDI uh, International. So Good Deeds International is what that stands for. Uh, so. Patricia, you will have, okay, sounds good, so great. So you will have an amazing time. Make sure you look for me. I am a part of the welcoming committee. Not really, but I am. So I'll make sure I give you a good hug. Uh, you will get a lot of hugs from a lot of good people. Make sure you look up, uh, look for GDI. They are amazing. Uh, it's a lot of Southern hospitality. So when you get here, uh, you will feel that. That's one of the things I think that GDI does an amazing job with, with their ambassadors. And again, if you did not see the live from last uh, week, we did talk about the ambassadors. Now, I am wearing one of the shirts. This is a throwback. I think this one's from 2017. I'm not sure where my one from last year is. 10th year anniversary. Same. I think the shirt color was the same color. Do you guys keep the shirts the same color normally? Are they always yellow? I can't remember. But look for the ambassador. Okay? No. We, we, no, we change colors. That's from the 10th year anniversary. Okay, so this is from the 10th year. So look for the folks that are have on like these loud colored shirts. Um, and these folks can, can you hear me? Everywhere. We can hear you. Oh, we're These freezing folks up. are available to help you, whatever you need, okay? So, uh, okay, thank you, uh, Helen. So let's get into what we want to talk to Kasim Day about, Hello. okay? Can you hear me? We can hear you, Kasim Day. Can you hear okay? Kasim Day, what are you doing? We are, I can't hear you. I'm up. Can't hear you. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me? Lord. We can hear you you, always, you always trying to blame me for something. I ain't done nothing. Nothing. <laughs> you me now? Well, you know what I would like for you to do? You look like you moved deeper into your building. Go back toward the door. Go back up toward the door. There you go. Telling me where to go and what to do. Basically. That's what you I might do. Get it That's seemed like your you know. reception was a little bit better toward the door. You know, I know your shop, so go back toward the door. Yeah. Thank All right, we're going to try it right here. That, let's see if, so let's see if this work. is better. It's much better. See, I know you wanted to show off your wall. If you want to flip your camera around, you can show the people if you like, but you need to sit right there. I don't know how to do that. Don't so don't just touch it. Just don't touch it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't touch it. All right. So let me and then and if when they come over to when they come down to Atlanta, hopefully they'll come over to the Black Dot Bookstore. You guys must must experience this bookstore. You will be remiss if you do not. You have to go and see Black Dot Bookstore. It is amazing. All right. So let's get into uh, some of the things they can expect when they come down this year, February 21st through the 24th, to experience Heritage Ball uh, this year. Let's just start here. The Some of the surprises. You and I kind of talked offline. And your fearless leader... Cheryl Poe, which is the president of GDI, she said, we're going to mention the some of the surprises, but not really. <laughs> well, they're called surprises because they are surprises. So, <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> what, 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 you 
being the vice president, since the president is not around, you're like, you know some stuff. What are some of the surprises you can tell us? We won't tell hmm. her that you told us. Are you able to tell us anything? Let me I'm I'm thinking about that real closely. Because, see, I'm not about to let you get me in trouble. Come on. But uh, I think, you know, maybe some pool tables, you know, the Heritage Hangout. Uh, maybe a cigar lounge we're adding. Okay. But I, I don't think I'm willing to give you much more than that. Because, I mean, every year we like to do a surprise. It wouldn't be a surprise if we told you. So I don't think I can give you much more than that. So there but, are pool tables this year? Yes. Nice. So that's going to be at the, the hangout area. That The hangout area actually has been moved, so it's no longer on the 10th floor. So we want to emphasize that. It's been moved down to where the cigar bar, like the big tent thing, I think Cora told us about that. And now will yes. it be open all day? Yes. Well, okay, from what is it, 10 to 6? Mm -hmm. 10 to 6? Okay. I believe it's 10, 10 a.m., maybe 11 a.m. Don't quote me on a 10, but I know we go to 6 o'clock. Okay, 6 now, is that an additional fee? No, absolutely not. Someone asked that. Like, it's an additional fee because a lot of the parties charge extra for the parties that go on during the daytime. You know, you have your main events that may be paid for, like your Friday nights or whatever. You guys, your weekend pass covers all of the parties, correct? Yes, absolutely. Well, except for Thursday night. Thursday, Thursday night. Galleries. And, well, we know we have it at the hotel as well. So it's $10 for Thursday night. The weekend pass covers Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday. Okay, so Thursday night is $10. So I'm glad we said yes. that. So Thursday night is $10. And if you decide to go to Ellery's, well, Ellery's, is Ellery's a cover charge? I think Eloise may, may be a ten dollar cover charge as well. Okay, we'll look that up for sure, and I'll make sure I make sure we get that reposted. It may be a cover charge at Eloise, but it's Ellery's nominal; yeah. it's not a lot. But everything Absolutely. else is covered. All the day parties are covered, and all that good stuff. Okay, mm -hmm. so very mm -hmm. good. Okay, so he won't tell us any more surprises other than the pool tables. We'll, nah. we'll circle back to that. We'll circle back to that. You think? You yeah, think you're gonna get it out of me? I, you really think you'll yeah, get out I'm of trying. me? I'm, I'm definitely okay. gonna try. You know, I'm gonna come I, can, I can't you. fault you for trying. I mean, that's what we're here for, Kasim Day. We're gonna try. I don't even hey. think Cheryl is logged on. Stop being a punk. Come on. All right, listen. <laughs> you <laughs> ten dollars at Ellery's. There's a ten dollar cover charge at Ellery's. Uh, Ellery's. You know what I do want to talk about about Ellery's because there was a there was a concern that came up with Ellery's last year and hopefully you can talk about this if not we'll kind of get some answers to this the attire at Ellery's for Thursday night Ellery's uh, in no time allows sneakers uh, I think jeans may be okay. Oh don't do jeans. Don't do on Thursday night. Jeans that Thursday night. Yeah, Thursday night jeans are okay. Sneakers is never okay at Ellie's. All right, so keep that in mind, guys. So I know some people may be traveling in that Thursday. Don't do don't do sneakers to go to Ellery's at Thursday. So I want to make sure we say that in terms of attire. Let's talk about the HB Queens and HB Gentlemen. And no shorts. All right. So this weather here in Atlanta, you may be able to wear back out shorts and booty shorts. I mean back out shirts and booty shorts because our weather has been <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to picture booty shorts, but that's okay. That's for another conversation. Basically, but I'm just saying the weather has been, hello, we got a lot of people checking in and saying hello, good people. The weather has been amazing here in Atlanta. I think yesterday was 75. It was ridiculous. So, but we just not, let's not do booty shorts and stuff like that to the Ellery's. But you know, if you can do it, do it. But I'm just saying, just don't wear sneakers. Um, let's talk about the HB Queens and the HB gentlemen. I think that it's an amazing uh, things that you got, the thing that you guys do. Can we talk about the concept behind that, uh, please? I'm glad you asked that question. <clears throat> Early on, we start as we started growing, more and more ladies were saying, "Well, we didn't get a chance to dance. It's always more women than men." So. 
I think it may have been Art that came up with the concept of the uh, HB Gentleman. It started off where uh, men, dancers of all levels, would volunteer and we would put blinking lights on their lapel. Okay. And they would walk around and, and the ladies that aren't getting dances can identify them by those blinking lights and get the and go and ask them to dance. So then someone said, well, what about one for men, like the the queens? So we added that, so it's even handed, even keel basically. So it's not just beginners that are volunteering. Again, you have dancers of all levels. So feel free by all means, if you're sitting, if you're first time or your second time, at Heritage Ball and you're not familiar with a lot of people, if you see somebody walking around with those blinking lights on their lapel, grab their hand and say, let's dance. That's what they're there for. It's a beautiful thing that uh, people really come out and volunteer to, um, to do that. Now, can, with that, guys, let's because I, I think Cheryl has threatened to put a light on me. I think she's threatened that a couple of times, so I'm like, I got to wear a light? Oh. I think that's a good idea, actually. I like that. I second that. I will wear this light. I will wear this light. I will wear the light. But with, with the light, now can the people decline dances? Let's, let's talk about some stimulations with this light, because what if my feet hurt? Like, what's the thing with this? What's the thing with this now? Because I, I think some guys be running out throwing their lights away. Like, what's the situation with this situation? Well, well, uh, and this is just my perspective, but I can imagine that a guy can be dancing song after song after song after song, and he's tired. Yeah, and he just, he's really. <laughs> and we know how it is, you know. Sister, come up. And she don't care about you being tired. She don't care about sweat popping off your head. She just want to dance. But sometimes people are tired, and they were like, "I need a break." So, other than that, there should okay. be really no reason why anyone would get turned down. But just you know, if if the brother or sister look wore out, let them take a break. Okay, so guys, don't take that personal. Be like, "Well, they turn me down." And listen, ladies. Don't be afraid to go and ask for those dances. And guys, if you're new to the dance, don't be intimidated to come and ask me. I know I am the bomb.com on that dance floor. Why are you looking at me like that? Yes, don't be afraid to come and ask me. I'm kidding. No, just seriously, don't be intimidated to come and ask for those dances. We want everyone to come to the Heritage Ball and really experience, because listen, if you are new to this experience, it can be overwhelming. I'm telling you now, if you have never been, oh my God, it can be overwhelming. So be ready to go in there and just take it in. Just go in and just walk in and just say, okay, let me tackle. You guys should have t-shirts to say, I survived Heritage Ball. That's a great, that's absolutely a great idea because <clears throat> it can be overwhelming, but, and, and I'm glad you exhale because I was thinking the same thing. It's just exhale, uh, have a good time. It, you know, it's really like going is. on vacation. I go on vacation. I'm going to have a good time and I'm Seriously. not letting nothing stand in my way. Somebody, Nicole, write that down that I said that at what time? 12, like 12, 12, 20 at Eastern Standard Time. It needs to be a shirt that says, I survived Heritage Ball. And you guys actually either sell them on that Sunday, the last day, I survived here. I survived Heritage Ball. I think I'm glad I thought I'm, because I'm glad it's I thought about a survival. That. Like you literally survived it. Because <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's not that bad now. Come on now. <laughs> no, but it's been, a, it's been a good thing. But you really feel like you survived yeah. it. Like I, I really, I can't. But maybe like a person at the end of it, with like their arms up, like a strong thing though. Not like in a negative, but in a positive thing. Because you right, really feel right. like you survived it. Right. Go ahead. Go ahead, Candy. I, I, I am one of those men that have been chosen to wear those little blinking lights, you uh -huh. have survived. You have survived the Heritage Ball. <laughs> they will dance you all weekend at every party. There's a different party going on, on all top of day. 
Jasper. All night. All day, day and day. all night. Yes. They will dance you because it's way more women than it is men. And men have to dance. They have to dance. So, guys, get ready. Start surviving the Harris Ball. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Noted. My manager. Got, got, to get your, got to get your cardio on before you show up. There you go. All right. So, guys, let's move on. The drummers. The drummers that you guys have. Someone said that I survived the break. The beast. I survived the beast. I almost said the breast. Mm. That's not what that says. That actually says the beast. That's that anyway. beast. Breast or oh, beast? I'll sip on that one. <laughs> it's been a long week. I told y'all that. <laughs> I told y'all how long my week is. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about the drummers that you guys brought in on last year. You guys brought in the cultural, some more of the cultural aspect. I think um, you guys started the Heritage Ball, definitely. You could talk more about this, and we kind of want to go over into um, the whole concept of the Heritage Ball. It won't go too deep because it's, it's way too much to even talk about, of course, in this small time that we have. Um, but the dramas that you guys brought in last year, I thought was amazing. If you guys did not see that video, maybe I'll try to find some of it to post up. It was uh, an amazing thing to see. Whose idea was that to bring in the drummers last year and the dancers? I thought that was amazing. I think it took all of us by surprise. Like, <gasps> and it, it touched the soul. It touched your fabric. It really made you feel uh, almost like you were back at home. And I felt the only thing I was missing was my little skirt and, and, and <laughs> I don't know, something. Some, I wanted to paint my face up and something. You know, what made you guys think of that? Well, I don't know if it was any one person's ideal. It's something that um, several years ago, for those heritage ball goers that have come consistently over the years, <clears throat> we've had African dancers and drummers and stilt walkers in the past. And it's been a little while since we've had that. So we, you know, we started feeling like maybe we need to bring some of that back. And uh, so it was a few of us that talked about it and we found that particular dance group that had the sisters and we really wanted to uplift sisters with the dancers and their drummers as well. So really get to highlight the power of that. So it was, it was actually great to love. I loved it. And, um, and it was needed at that time. I think it was really kind of a healing moment, healing in a happy way for, yeah. for all of us. You know, we, we, you know, black folk, we hear them, them drum beats. It just does something to us. It just raises your frequencies. I totally agree. It was a nice touch. It was a very nice touch. Now, you guys, uh, how's the sound? Someone said they're hearing a little bit of feedback, and so I want to make sure everything stays clear. Thank you all so much, uh, so much to the Also Smooth Radio listeners that's tuning in, tuning in as well. Let's talk about the African night that you guys have decided to bring back. Uh, last year, you guys, I don't know if it was your first year doing it. Uh, I was last year, but it was such a beautiful. Uh, it, okay, it was such a beautiful thing to see uh, people in there in their African garb. So you guys decided to bring it back this year. Uh, what was the thought? How did you feel about seeing that last year? And then what was the thought or, or the, I guess you said it was such a, a hit last year, you decided to bring it back this year. Uh, how was that roundtable discussion about bringing it back this year? Well, I think it was a no-brainer this year. Mm -hmm. uh, it was probably more discussion, bring it, introducing it the uh, last year. It's, it's something that we had talked about over the years. And I think that with everything going on and then the uh, Black Panther movie coming out. Yes. Um, and, and not just that, in a couple years, a couple years before that, some people were showing up on Thursday night in African Guard. And okay. it started to grow. So it was kind of organic in a way, and then we were like, you know what? Uh, in fact, the year before last, so that would be 2017, uh, I remember Shorty Smooth saying, sending out a, a Facebook uh, post saying, how many people are wearing African garb for Thursday night at the Heritage Ball? Nice. Okay. And it was kind of last minute, but some people were like, we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it, and you just started seeing it pop up. So it kind of organically moved into that. And uh, it was absolutely a, a beautiful thing to see. It really was. 
it is a beautiful thing to see, to see us uh, really. And, and for me, it felt like even though it was us all on one platform, but uh, to see us actually dressed in some of our native uh, our native uh, materials and things of that nature made us feel even more closer for some reason. It just felt the I, unity was definitely there. I think um, so. Yeah. When we get... When, we're already here, here, here in Atlanta. And unfortunately, some of us that live here, born and raised, some of the things that are here in our city, we don't frequent. And I, I'm one of those folks. I'm going to speak for myself. Some of the cultural things here, I don't frequent. What do you, what would you like for some of the folks that's going to be here in our city during Heritage Ball, which is February 21st through the 24th? What are some of the things that you would like for them to visit and go see while they're here in our beautiful city? Well, I like, um, I'm a museum person. I think the Apex Museum, which is on Edgewood Avenue, um, the new Civil Rights Museum um, is, is yeah. always a big hit. Um, and of course, Auburn Avenue, where you have the King Center. We used to uh, do a trip every year um, to the King Center and to go <clears throat> do the tour at his home. And like, how do you come to Atlanta and not, if you've never been, and not go down yeah. Auburn Avenue. It's so much history right. that that's there. So, um, but we're right downtown now. So it's it's in walking distance if it's a beautiful day, and it's a Uber a cheap Uber ride if it's not to go on Auburn Avenue or to go to the Civil Rights Museum. Okay, so there's definitely something that you would definitely want to see. I think it may be, I don't know if we can do this. I don't know if you guys may have it, but we may want to pick up some of the visitor, uh, what is those, uh, the visitor packages, visit Atlanta packages that we may be able to get from the Visitors Bureau. That may yes, be something um, we may want to. I think that we're, uh, <clears throat> on our beast, we do have the, um, the addresses to some of these museums, so that okay. information will be readily available. Okay. Um, to people. So um, we're trying to see what we can put together um, in terms of that. I believe for the Civil Rights Museum, we may have either free or close to free um, passes to get in there yeah. this year. So that's, that's I, something to take advantage of while you're here. Yeah, I did see some. I think Coca-Cola did some type of grant or something. So yeah. I know that's free, I think, for the month of February. So guys, make sure you take advantage of some of the free things that, uh, some of the things that are available here in Atlanta um, that's going to, you know, that's for us, that's about us. So I definitely mm -hmm. take advantage of it. Why are you here? Why are you here in this beautiful city? city and I personally, I really like, I personally like the Apex Museum. Because okay. the APAC Museum takes our history back prior to the enslavement period, back to Africa. So it kind of starts nice. from there and move forward. So it gives you a little bit more um, history that we're not aware of or that, or that we're not taught in this country. So that's one of my one of my favorites. Okay, that's great. Okay. Uh, one other thing I definitely wanted to talk to you about, the Heritage Ball. I know you guys have probably been bouncing this around uh, probably for many years. Telling your story. You guys have a story. Uh, most organizations and most people have a story, but actually putting it to film or putting it to writing and putting it in script uh, is usually the hardest part. I, a little birdie has told me that Heritage Ball has been thinking about doing a book documentary about Heritage Ball. A birdie? A birdie has told the tea lady that you guys are thinking about doing a documentary. Is this true? Now, Cheryl well, is not logged on, so you can tell me. <laughs> um, we have been approached in the past about potentially doing something like that. Um, and from our, our position, we felt like no one really knows our story. And people assume certain things, and that's fine, but we don't get to tell our story. We don't, we don't really get an opportunity to define who we are and how we started. So um, I think it would be, documentary would be nice, but just the opportunity to tell our story is always a good thing. I think it would be amazing for people to know uh, what's, you guys do such a phenomenal job with um, everything. We don't hear about 
GDI. We don't hear about the individual members. We just hear that you guys put together a well-organized event. It's run very smoothly. Um, I've had the privilege of working with you guys now with three years. Um, mm -hmm. And so I work very closely with Cheryl. So this time of year, she's she's barking at me, basically. She's like, let me tell you something. This how she starts some of the conversation. Let don't me don't take it personally, lady. You ain't gonna like me right now. I'm like, don't take know, it personally. She's she barking at every. She's barking at everybody at this point. At so this time it ain't just you. <laughs> but she wants it right, and so when I see it unfold, and it's a beautiful picture. The canvas is beautiful when it's done. It's amazing, guys. It's just absolutely amazing. And I want to thank all of you guys for what you guys have done. So I think this documentary will be a beautiful thing to see. Before we go further, let's talk about some of these seminars. You have a seminar that you're hosting on that Saturday at the Black Dot Bookstore. Yes, and I do. I can. I wish that I, I actually say this. I'm, I always say this jokingly. I yeah. wish I could be a part of the Heritage Ball. <laughs> I wish I could participate in the Heritage Ball. Uh, I'm there, but I, I don't get an opportunity to do anything. <laughs> Welcome to the party. I know. <laughs> you know, but you, you, have an, you have something that you're doing Saturday. Are you able to ex talk about a little bit about the seminars? I know, I know it's massive. Um, but do you have any research on any of the of the uh, seminars that you can kind of talk about a little bit? Well, I haven't quite come up with a name for my seminar. Okay. I'm, I'm playing. I'm playing with the name. Okay. Um, and that would be from pain to dysfunction to love. Wow. It's it's um, something that uh, kind of a slightly a departure from what I've done in the past, because this will be, I think, my fifth seminar, fifth year that I've done a seminar. But I think it's something needed. Um, you hear a lot about dysfunction or hate, like even within the steppers community, which is just a microcosm of the larger black community, how there's, there's haters and we're not talking this person or that person or all these different uh, things that are going on. And it's the source of all of that. And we got to learn how to get beyond that and uh, learn how to, one, love ourselves and then love others and, and not let the little small things that stand in the way or those, those blocks in between us that uh, prevent us from being happy, just happy. It's like, why would you go to an event such as the Heritage Ball and be worried about what somebody else is thinking or doing? So... But that's, that's just not a heritage ball thing. That's a life lesson. So um, I like to say that the uh, Black Dot Cultural Center, it, yes, it is a bookstore and a cultural center, but it's really a place of healing. That's what yes. we do. That's what we focus That it on. is. That yes. it is. And at the end of the day, you just said it. It's not, and I hear it often, you know, people will get on social media and they'll complain about and I'll just say the stepping event you know steppers are messy and stepping events and this and that and then again at the end of the day it's not the stepping event it's the person and the people are so hurt and people have so many things and so much baggage that they haven't dealt with they just happen to bring it to a stepping event absolutely so it's not the event itself that's messy it's absolutely. the person that's hurt just the and, and, and oftentimes it's it's we're dealing with trauma and we put on this mask like we're we're okay, right? And it manifests itself in other things. And from that person on the outside, they're looking and saying that person's really messy, but that person may be dealing with some serious pain. Yeah. And we don't we don't peel back the onion enough to find out what's really going on. We'd rather judge or be judgmental. Mm -hmm. And that helps no one. You know what I mean? So um, it's important that we understand what those triggers are, understand that a lot of us are walking around with pain, understand that saying you love yourself is a false positive in most cases, because if you truly love yourself, then it's very easy to love others and look beyond their pain. So, um, so that's something that um, 
is important to me. We most most people break down in in typically three categories. I call them spiritual categories. They're either warriors, builders, or healers. Mm. Mm. And once you understand what that person is, then you pretty much know how to deal with them. Because oftentimes, uh, warriors and healers tend to argue a lot. They don't get along because they don't recognize what each other have deal with each other. So it's just important that we are able to identify those things. Do you find, and, and I think we need to stay here for a little bit, T Sippers, because I think this is probably going to help someone. If it doesn't help y'all, it'll help me. Do you find that in our community, more importantly, that we would rather not deal with that? We would rather not deal with our emotion or the emotional hurt or the emotional baggage that we have. We would just rather walk around and just be emotionally uh, broken or damaged uh, rather than to deal with it. First of all, we're very slow to seek out counsel. So a lot of times we just need a good therapist. Mm -hmm. Raise your hand if you think we all just need a counselor. I think we all should have someone other than Christ himself, whoever you speak to, whatever. We should all have someone that we can counsel with. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think a lot of times we, it just I think as a culture, we just don't, we don't talk about our stuff. I don't know if we look at it as a sign of weakness. Do you find that to be the case? Well, I don't think it's a sign of weakness. I think first and just human nature oftentimes um, it's easy to deal with other people's problems than to deal with your own. Dealing with your own issues takes work, a lot of work. Um, so it, it's difficult. It, it's a challenge to take that step towards healing. But once you do, um, that's a good thing. So I don't know if it's necessarily a cultural thing, although there are cultural things that we deal with specifically that um, that gives us pain and we act out the manifestations of those. So um, what I find is, is that when a person is allowed the space to speak their truth, right, then they feel comfortable. I can't tell you how many times in, in, in black dot that I have young women that talk about um, being sexually abused or harassed mm. Um, mm. as a young child, how people feel free to speak their truth. <clears throat> so my take from that is that the, the environment has been created for one to speak their truth. And oftentimes we don't find ourselves in that environment. Mm. Um, we don't have people around us that are less judgmental right? Yes. That we can speak our truth too. And I think that if, if we do have that in front of us or in our surrounding areas, then we can, because the healing process starts there. It's being able to, to get it out of yourself and into the universe, right? That's good get stuff. It off the chest. And, uh, That's good but stuff. you have to surround yourself by people who and allow you you to be yourself and because because we know i mean family secrets right <laughs> and we all have them you know and we all we have all them, have them. Absolutely. and unfortunately Absolutely. those things are brought into stepping environments i.e the heritage ball they're brought everywhere they're everywhere and unfortunately they're not dealt with i would love to see more things um like that discussed at some of these major stepping events. As a matter of fact, I'm thinking about, uh, I'm bringing a concept called the tea parties. And my tea parties, I think, will, want, will, will, di will dive over into, and maybe I'll, I mean, you can talk about that offline, but it'll dive more over into some of those experiences where there'll be, they won't be videoed and things like that. We will really sit around and have a tea party, if you will, but we'll talk, mm -hmm. we'll We'll create an environment where we're safe and we can actually talk. Mm -hmm. well, well, I have a rule. You know what I mean? Yeah, I have a, I have a rule in, in here in, in Black Dot is we're not gonna you're not gonna come into this space and talk about what's wrong with black people. Ooh. You'll come into this space and talk about what's right with us. I and love that. If we if we enter into whether it's the heritage ball or 
any place where we go, if we if we just change, have that paradigm shift, yes. where we're not looking at what's wrong. If I go to another set, I'm not looking for what's wrong. I love I'm looking that. for what's right, right? I love that. Um, which is, which yeah. is kind of part of our story, getting back to how we started. When we started the Heritage Ball, actually it wasn't named the Heritage Ball, the community named it. Uh, we started off celebrating our heritage. And wow. we, traveled, okay. we traveled around the country to other events to see what's right, right? And we looked at what, we took the good things from all the various different events that we had and we sat down and we tried to create um, an event that we can be proud of, right? That we can provide all the things that just people like to do so they can come and everything is housed in one space that if, for example, if you don't want to take lessons, there's seminars for you to go to, there's other nice. things for you to do, right? Mm -hmm. Versus just being stuck there and saying, well, I'm not taking no seminar, I'm not taking a class, no workshop, so now what do I do with my time, right? So we try to provide all the different things that people can actually enjoy themselves throughout the weekend versus just going to the party at night. So we looked wow. at the good things and we focused year in and year out on the good things. Now, of course, we have to look at, it's always, you want to become more efficient. So we know the things that don't quite go right. We hear those things, but instead of focusing on the negative aspect of it is how do we take this and turn this into a positive so that we can, you are people that come to us have a greater, a better experience, a happier experience. So that's our focus. We don't focus on the negative. And I think that that's part and parcel to our success. I agree because it's a very positive, it's very, the Heritage Ball, guys, if you agree with this, uh, give me some hearts. If you've been to the Heritage Ball, it's a very positive vibe. Every day feels positive. It feels welcoming. Even though I'm exhausted, I work day in and day out, but it feels very positive. You feel a lot of love. Everybody is happy. You're tired. Everybody's excited. Maybe we're <laughs> just zombies and we don't really know. <laughs> but everybody is so happy. And mm -hmm. you know, everything starts from the top. Everything starts from the top. So that's because of you guys. You guys have put that in place. You understand? If you guys are walking around melancholy and in bad attitudes and stuck up and all of that, that would that would trickle down. It has a trickle down like the like the right. on Aaron's beard. Absolutely. You know what I mean? You would have that same type of effect. But because because of you guys' positivity and you guys have made sure that you have a positive, you want everybody there to have a positive attitude and everybody have a positive experience. That is what you get. Your party goers have a positive experience. So you guys have done a phenomenal job with that. We, we, we pretty much have, it's, it's an old saying, I've been in sales a long time and we kind of adopted this attitude that we can't get what we want until we help others get what they want first. So right. it's really not about us. Our focus has always been about our guests <clears throat> and nice. it remains about our guests. So we're just providing a vehicle that our guests can enjoy themselves. But it's from day one, it is, we've been in awe actually in how our guests has responded from day one through from year one to year 12 that, because we didn't start off like this. We started off with a one day event celebrating our heritage. Wow. Then we went to a two-day event the following year, and then a three-day event the following year. And each year, it was like, we was like, wow, where did all these people come from, and why are they coming <laughs> here? Because we, we never imagined for one moment that it would turn into this. And then we started hearing uh, our guests saying, the Heritage Ball, we're going to the Heritage, we're going to the Heritage. So they, they named our guests named it the Heritage Ball. We were just wow. celebrating our heritage. Wow. Right? And, and you notice all the the um, the banners that we have up with, with civil rights icons. Right. And yes. uh -huh. it, it was just always about celebrating us during Black History Month. 
and it just started to grow and we started it was more like we were managing the growth right like say whoa i, I remember one year if i may we had a walking class okay and we were out at the convention center and we only had half of the room for that friday night party and at the walking class during the day we went in that walking class and it filled up the room and wow. we're like whoa we're not prepared for this. So we had to go back to the convention center and say, we need the whole room Friday night because we're not going to be able to fit our people in. I mean, wow. it's just, it, it was just phenomenal how people just responded to um, the Heritage Ball and how we grew over the years. Because not one single one of us would have ever imagined that in year 12, we would still be doing this. Um, wow. We wouldn't have thought in year four that we would be doing this. So it's 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 all in divine order. Is what yes, I say. It is. It's, 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 if if your heart is in the right place, then people respond because you're absolutely right. If if it's about money, if if you feel that all oh, that person just want to take my money or that person suffers, they don't have to tell you that you feel that energy. Right. Yes. And then you're less likely to want to go back. But if you feel love, um, then you want to be a part of that. And uh, we really stress that uh, amongst the members and you're right with our ambassadors, um, it's about that. And as we prepare each year, that's the discussion that we have with each and every single one of our ambassadors. Southern hospitality, treat people with love, show them what this is all about. And that's what we do. Well, you guys have done a phenomenal job. We're looking forward to getting there and uh, experiencing Heritage Ball 2019. We're less than what, gosh, less than two weeks away. It's February 21st through the 24th. If you guys have not gotten your tickets, I'm sure they are still available at www.heritageball.com. Make sure you follow them on IG. That is Instagram at GDI underscore Heritage Ball. Uh, listen, do you have anything else you need to add to this phenomenal interview that we've had? Do you have anything else you need to add? I will see you on a dance floor. Actually, I'll walk past you and see you on a dance floor. You know, we don't get to dance too often. Oh, wait a minute. We need to change that. Cheryl, are you on here, baby? Because they need to have some, um, you need to have some, um, a light. If I got to have a light, because Sim Day definitely need a light. Because I don't see, I don't ever see Sim Day doing anything. Cheryl, what does Sim Day be doing? What does uh, Sim Day be doing during the Heritage Ball? Your work is already be done. Uh -huh. How are you? Wait, 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 wait. How you have how you have time to pay attention to what I'm doing or not doing? That's what I'm trying to figure out. But you need a light on one of them nights. Don't worry about it. I get your light. I, my light is always on. Good. Now what you got to say about what you got to say about that? My, my light is always on. What you got to say about that? Think black. Think black. There you go. <laughs> I've enjoyed you. Thank you so much. I love you. February 21st through the 24th. Hey, if you don't know, the Heritage Ball is the hottest event going on, period, all year. Get your tickets. Be ready. We're excited. We will post this. Make sure you guys share this video. Go back and see Cora from last week if you missed something from last week. I love you, dude. Love you so much. I'll love you much. You. Thank you so you much. And can't wait to see you guys. Peace I and know. blessings. Sip, sip, baby. Sip, sip. Mwah. Bye. All righty. Peace. Peace. All right, T-Sippers. You know how to hang up because someday. There you go. Guys, listen. I think we covered it. I mean, we got the, we, we, he covered the culture parts. He talked about the seminars, African night. We talked about the drummers. We talked about some of the things you can see in the city. Uh, we talked about the H.B. King and the Queens. I mean, not the Kings, the gentlemen. We talked about the Queens. We talked about, whew, listen, Ellery's, no one on shorts, no one on sneakers. The cover, cover charge is $10, right, Cora? Over at Ellery's. Oh, $10 to get in on Thursday night at Heritage Ball. Don't forget about that. 
Weekend pass covers all the other parties. Your day parties and all that stuff is covered other than Thursday night. Don't forget about that. Other than that, I think we're good. So we have one more. We have one more member that we're going to talk to at some point next week. It may not be next Saturday. It may be during the week sometime because we have to go to Augusta next Saturday. Next Saturday is Candyman's birthday, which is the 16th. And my birthday is next Sunday, the 17th. Happy birthday to me and Candyman. So we may have to alter that show a little bit, but stay tuned. We will get that advertisement up. And again, as always, thank you so much for tuning in to Talking Tea with Tika. And to God be the glory, the grandbaby is coming home today. I just got another call that they actually are loading up the car now. The baby is on the way home. So I'm excited. Baby, let me hear some going out music. Oh, So Smooth Radio. I appreciate you guys. Join us on the radio. I still got another hour to go on Oh, So Smooth Radio. Your girl is excited. Oh, So Smooth, GDI. We're going to make this thing happy. Happen. Are we going skating, Helen? I see you still on here. Hey, hey. You want to be starting some, baby. Hey, hey, hey. Y'all want to be starting some Heritage Ball, February 21st through the 24th, right here in the city of Atlanta. Teresa, what's up, baby? The baby is on his way home. God is good. All right, baby. Love y'all. Sip, sip.